Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a grooming video for you and show you the importance of using the correct tools and uh, a groom that we call line grooming. So with Lincoln here, I've actually planned on doing this video for a little while. So I've only been giving him a top groom for the last two and a half, three weeks with your standard brush. Now this is a nylon and ball bristle brush and this is your basic grooming brush. But I wanna show you the importance of when a dog is dropping its coat using a correct brush, which is your thick metal pin brush. And it is actually really good at getting the undercoat out. And I wanna show you the difference. So at the moment, I have just finished bathing Lincoln. I've just finished blow drying Lincoln. So a whole heap of hair blew out for the blow dry. But now I'm going to give you a full deep groom and I'm gonna show you what we call a line groom. So the difference being that when you use this brush and we always give the dogs a little bit of a spray with water before we brush. Now this is actually a water and it's got a bit of conditioner in it. It's a grooming spray. So you give them a spray down and the reason you do that is because that actually stops the hair from breaking and the extra conditioner in the grooming spray actually just adds a bit of condition to the coat and it helps get out any knots. So when you're brushing with this basic brush, which is your nylon and ball bristle brush, it will actually get through the coat and give a nice groom over on the top coat. Now, when you have finished brushing with this, the dog actually looks quite nice and it looks like you've done a really good job grooming and a little bit of hair has come out. As you can see, he's dropping his coat. Now, if you actually get in and under, however, you'll actually see that this brush can only go so far into the coat. So when we actually spread the coat, and what I'm gonna do now, this is actually our stages to what we call line grooming. So basically what you're doing, and you can start anywhere you like, you are parting the coat so that you can create a line and you actually want to be able to see skin in there. You wanna get right down so that you've got the skin of the dog in the center here and you're creating a part. Now basically what you're wanting to do is you're then wanting to actually get in and you are actually giving it a really good brush. Now what that does, as you can see, is that actually pulls out more of the undercoat that they're dropping. This is the way that you do a correct groom on a Sheltie to ensure that you're getting all the loose and dead undercoat out. Now Shelties are what we call a double coated breed. So they have this nice, long, coarse top coat. And then as you can see, if you look in close here, you'll actually see that there's a line almost along here where you can see that it looks a little bit um, smudged, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Now that is your undercoat. So you can actually see it's actually curly, it's soft, it's thick, and that's his undercoat in under there. Now that's the most of the hair that will actually die off and drop out when they drop their coat. That's the hair that can get very matted if you don't brush and groom them properly. Now, if you're just using this brush, you're brushing the top coat, you're not a lot of the time getting right down into this double coat, which is the undercoat that we actually need to get down and into to give them a good proper groom. So once you've got your line, wherever you decided to start from, really doesn't matter. You basically give that a really good groom through and then all you're doing is you're just moving the line. So I'm actually gonna start coming up the way so I can do all of his belly. So you just go along and you lift the line and you can actually see there I've changed the part. So just a little bit at the time and you're lifting that line. And what that's doing is that's actually making sure that you are grooming right down into all of the undercoat. Now, the reason I like this thick metal pin brush, this brush in particular, it is just thick metal pins out of the soft fabric center. It doesn't have any sharp hard bits. They're very smooth and it literally just glides through the coat, especially when the coat has just been washed and you use your grooming spray. Now 
know, he might be able to hear Lincoln moaning a little bit in there. He actually really enjoys a brush. Most dogs, if they've had this, and Lincoln has had this since we've had him at eight weeks old, they get very used to it. Milo will actually fall asleep whilst being groomed. If your dog does not like being groomed, the best way to start it is just lots of little grooming, short five minute grooms. Don't pull too much on the coat. It needs to be a reasonably enjoyable experience and give them treats and rewards. Now I would recommend that you do a line groom in your Sheltie, ideally once a week if you can, um, but I understand that people are busy and a lot of the time that's very hard to do. If you can't do it once a week, you can't do it once a fortnight, I really stress that you try your absolute hardest at the very least to do it once a month. So as you can see, I've come right down almost to the middle of his belly with my line groom. And it really is as simple as that. You basically are just doing that over their entire body. Now there are areas to watch out for, areas that tend to be a little bit knottier than other areas, especially if you have other Shelties as well with them playing, there's certain spots that they get knots in. So in this leg area here is usually an area, especially for puppies that might have some knots. Um, in the pants, which we'll get to, especially with boys in and around the testicles, if they're not desexed. And if they are desexed, it can still get quite knotty. Always just, obviously it's a gentler area, just be gentle. So that's just all of that area in there. Now the other area for knots is in up under the armpit here. As you imagine when you've got multiple shelties, they like to bite each other's legs. So that's an area where you do find a lot of knots too. Again, just give it a little bit of a grooming spray. Never get into a bunch of knots straight with a comb. It's just too painful for them. Remembering that you're wanting your Sheltie to enjoy their grooming session. The underside here, again, knots, and you'll see there's a couple of little knots up in there. So just give it a good spray. Now be careful with this area because it is quite sensitive. They've got that looser skin there. So if you're yanking on it, it will hurt them. So just be a little bit sensitive when you're doing that. And if you get a really bad knot, which I'll show you up under ears probably in a separate video, uh, the best bet if you're not showing is to very carefully just cut the knot out. Um, and I'll show you a technique that we use to cut and brush, which doesn't leave you with big horrible cut lines. Um, but for the sake of the dog, so that you're not putting them through any extra pain, um, you're better off just cutting it out. So I'm just gonna roll Lincoln over now and show you how easily we roll them over too. So don't be afraid to get in and move them, roll them. Spin them around. They are very, my dogs are very used to that. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to get in there and move them around. 